tonight, a tense scene unfolded on another campus just hours ago when conservative commentator Ben Shapiro was prevented from stepping foot onto the campus of DePaul University in Chicago. Shapiro was invited by DePaul's Young Americans for Freedom chapter, attempting to defy a ban instituted against him in August when the university said Shapiro was not welcome to speak on campus due to security concerns, allegedly. Here's how it unfolded. The bottom line is it's private property, okay, that it, it wasn't pro proper procedures weren't followed and you're not going to allow So am I to understand that if I take three steps forward, you will attempt to have me arrested? If you create a problem and you will not you know, leave the campus, yes. Okay, so just to, be, just to be clear, if I attempt to enter that hall right there and sit down just to listen to somebody speak, or if I attempt to ask a question so, or to engage in free speech, you will have me arrested. Thank you, this point. Yes, sir. I'm also glad that uh, in a city, I mean, clearly you have great security. I'm glad in a city that has uh, some 4,000 shootings to this date. You have 30 members of security just for a 59165 Jewish guy. Wow. Joining me now in a Kelly File exclusive, Ben Shapiro, editor in chief of The Daily Wire. Here we go again, Ben. Here we go again. <laughs> it's incredible how, I mean, time after time, these college campuses won't even let you speak because you get shouted down by intolerant people when you try to go and then they say it's a security concern. Yeah, it really is amazing. This one was actually particularly amazing because there wasn't a protester anywhere in sight. So you had 30 security people but they could, and a they sheriff could picture from one in their heads. Right, exactly. So they'd actually internalized the, the rioters so well that now they could actually reflect them back out to the world. They're tolerant of anything except somebody actually giving a speech on the topic of free speech. That is the actual topic Can of we speech just that I was Say that again. Say that give. again. The speech that I was giving was about free speech, and they are tolerant enough to ban it. So that was exciting. It's unbelievable. You were not allowed to speak about free speech at all. This is what modern day university campuses have come to. Not in all cases. There's the University of Chicago that denied people their safe spaces. But in, in this case, so you showed up there to make a point about free speech and you were arrested. Now, does this have any public dollars coming its way, this, this university? Uh, I, I don't know. It's a private university, which is why I didn't actually just attempt to walk right past security. If yeah. it's a public university, then it would have done so under my First Amendment rights. Exactly. It's a private university. So once they'd made clear that I would be arrested if I took th two steps forward, then what I did instead is Christina Hoff Summers, who joined me at this at this lecture, she actually Skyped me into the lecture hall, oh. and then we told everybody in the lecture hall to get up and walk out, and we all walked over to a, to a theater that was about three blocks away and did the event anyway. What, what, do, what do the kids who... If there are kids who are protesting, young adults, your presence, say. Do you know? Well, I mean, I, I think that they're, they're just offended by, by anybody who has a differing point of view. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking tomorrow at University of Wisconsin at Madison, and one of the key reasons that they're protesting me, apparently the big protests are planned, is because I'm pro-Trump, which is weird since I wasn't. So it, it, it's pretty they're, they're just making things up. Yeah, yeah exactly. right, so. exactly. And then they, they will left con let controversial figures from the left come and speak. It's just not somebody who's got strong views from the right. We've seen it so many times. Ben, good for you for trying. Thanks for being here. Thanks a lot. Remember that old, that old First Amendment chestnut? The answer to speech you do not like is not less speech, it's more speech. An important principle.